Welcome everyone back to my channel and to an epic restock. It's been a minute since we've done a big restock. We've been busy with lots of other things on the channel, but I thought that you would all enjoy a lot of goodies to get in the shop. This is Joanne's stuff and my stuff. There's a lot to go through, so I'll try to keep this video moving, but I have it everywhere. Um, this is wrapped to protect it because it's a beautiful journal that Joanne made. It is a sewing pattern cover journal. Isn't that beautiful? It's all like raggedy, like um, shabby chic. Isn't that beautiful? She has layers of that paper. A doily. Look at all these little goodies clipped on the front. So pretty cardstock. She has a little pouch. I think it has ephemera in it. You get um, just embellishing. It's very vintage looking, very sweet, very pretty. I know somebody's gonna scarf this up. I love it. Very vintage. This is definitely her theme and style. It's so pretty. I'm gonna keep it wrapped up in here, just kind of protects it from getting jostled around too much so that's available and then she has a few packs these are uh, goodie bags they're food themed and she has her paper pack this is a new paper pack that is available in the shop under joanne's digitals it's called food for thought and so she's printed it out for you it's just fun kind of retro vibe to it so this would be really fun to add into your cooking journals your recipe journals and things like that i think it's just a ton of fun um and then we got some baggies of goodies in here as well somewhere there's like a sticker altered paper clip got some bags which are reusable look at the washi stickers so we were looking at this food goodie bag. We just looked at the washi stickers. I was filming last night and then I had to stop. So I'm back here in the morning. Um, there's stickers that have different like coffee and food themed, little mini playing cards. They are pretty, all different kinds of stickers. And of course, what a nice bag that you can reuse. I love reusable packaging. And then inside of here, oh, there's journal cards and tags and lace and papers, recipe cards and all sorts of goodies that you can use so pretty. So much stuff you can use if you are creating a cooking or recipe journal. It's a lot of stuff, a lot of options, and it coordinates really well together. So very nice. Nope, oh, let me get it in there. I hate when they never go back in the bag the same way. I think it's just me. For some reason, I'm very um, gifted when it comes to putting things in bags. <laughs> so lots of great, great options for your crafting. Pardon me that I am taking the time to put this away, but I have a small workspace here, and if I don't put it back on film, I'm very likely to lose something. So I would rather get it back in and kind of protect the integrity of the package. But it's like when you're being watched, you can never do anything the right way. So at least I can't. So there's four of those. I'm gonna move those out of the way and move on to the next thing. There's two books. There's a weather and climate book. So if anybody's thinking of doing a weather themed or spring themed type uh, journal, Joanne has that. And then she has this garden plant survival manual. So these are nice thick pages. They're really thick. So they're gonna make great journal cards and pockets. 
The thickness is thick enough that if you cut pockets and tags and stuff out of it, you wouldn't even have to back it, I think, um, unless you wanted to journal on the back of it. So those two books, always a great option. Get those put over here. All right, let's see what we have here. This is a cute little altered glassine bag. Oh, look at how cute. I love these little collage things. So Joanne made these. They have a lot of different like, little dictionary words. They're all inked up. They're on cardstock. They're perfect. I love those. Definitely things I use. Here is a fabric pouch she made. It's stitched. And then there's some beading work here on a little clip. So you could use that on a journal if you wanted to. And then she has, let's see what's in here. Oh, it's a snippet roll. Look at how pretty. Snippet rolls are wonderful for cutting and using as pockets, page decorations, so many things. You can use them for edges of pages. And then it comes in its own pouch. And of course, it's a reusable pouch, so you can use it to store your items and goodies. Here's another fabric pouch she made. It looks like we have ephemera in it. So little journal cards, postcards, inked, stamped. Oh, look how cute. Ready to go in a journal. And then again, love these reusable pouches. They're so great for storing things and then they're just super unique and classy. I love this one. Look at this one. Isn't that beautiful? Look at this beaded charm. Now that's on a bulb pin, so you can remove that. I think this is a journal kit. She told me about this. I want to see if I'm right. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, um, cover. You have a cover made. Oh, how beautiful. So the idea of this is you have everything you need to make a journal and then you have a bag to store it in. So she's added inking and stitching elements, but she's left the cover blank. That gives you a blank canvas to decorate it the way you want. You have pockets here. Look at, look at the gold foiling. You have pages. Look at the pages. This is her digital uh, Paris in Bloom. So you can actually purchase that in her digital section on the shop, but it's beautiful. And it is, uh, some of them are double-sided, some are plain. That's going to leave you room and option to uh, decorate some. She's added stenciling to some. This is her pretty petals. So this one you could stencil or stitch other paper onto. There's coffee dyed lined paper, there's tracing paper, regular coffee dyed paper, and music paper. All the pages you need so you can put it together the way you want. Sew it into your signature. You have a journal. There's a piece of lace you could use for layering or snippets. You can use this little bag inside the journal as well. And then look at all of the items you have to decorate up the cover. So see what I mean? You can layer some lace. You can add an image on the front. Um, there, she's added buttons. So you can, you know, add buttons if you wish. There's so many options. You can go for a more... Um, simple approach if you wish. There's so many beautiful, look at the punch outs from the, the papers. There's laces and trims. You can decorate up, of course, use these for the pages as well, but they all go together so beautifully and they are perfect for decorating a journal. This is also great. I was going to say if you're taking a trip, Probably a lot of you are not traveling right now with um, a lot of things shutting down and the virus scare and everything, but it's also perfect for just grabbing and crafting. You know, we you may have more time to craft if events you are going to have been canceled and things like that. So it's a great time to work on extra crafts. It's a great gift too if you're trying to get somebody into junk journaling. 
um, it is a wonderful gift because it's like, here's what you need to make a junk journal. And they have a great option. Let's see, I think there's more stuff because you get this bag too. Let's see what's in here. Oh yeah, some tags she made that you can use. You got the negative punch outs, these are fun. You have some doilies, some uh, cutoffs from papers that you can use for pockets and other things like that. Oh, look at these. Okay, so these are some of the journal cards that come with Paris and Bloom. And she's inked them up and they're ready to go all throughout the journal. There's a stamped image. Isn't that beautiful? I'm like really wanting to create this journal right now because it's so ready to go and you can be creative without having to hunt all down your up and down your craft room finding items. And then of course you store it in this little pouch or you could make the journal, give the journal as a gift and reuse the pouch. You can use this dangle on the journal or on something else or just leave it on the pouch for a fun little dangle. There's so many things you can use these bags for, even like makeup bags and storage bags and things like that as well. She did create another journal. I have to say, I love this cover. It's so unique. I don't know if that is the top or the bottom. I think it goes this way, but it is an upholstery fabric cover, but look at that rounded edge and then the lace here. So pretty. Okay, so I forgot, she told me this is her design team project for me. She used Forest Gems. That's my mushroom themed, grungy mushroom themed kit. So Forest Gems is available in the shop, digital or printed. And um, I just love what she did. So these are the pages. Blessed are the curious for they shall have adventures. And it's just a woodland mushroom themed journal. I love how she put this thing together. It's perfect the way it is just for a writing journal, but you could decorate it up if you wished. Moment captured, new life. Look at the beading here. Oh, so pretty. My favorite thing is to go where I've never been. And just go. So kind of like a wanderlust theme. And that cover though. Oh, that is so pretty. All right. We have some wallpapers from her as well. Metallic florals. Now these are oh, okay. seven sheets. These are big. These are eight and a half by 12. They're not folded in half. It's just a sheet that's eight and a half by 12. You can fold it in half and cover a journal with it. Oh, look at how beautiful that is. Oh, these make the most incredible journal covers, pockets, anything you can do with paper, try doing it with wallpaper and it just ups the ante. So here's textured florals. Look at how pretty. Look at those leaves. This is really textured. They make great bases. Wow, so pretty. Perfect for your botanical journals. And then burgundy and gold florals. Look at that. So pretty. Got some coordinating ones. So these are all available in Joanne's supplies. So I think that's everything Joanne sent. And now I have some items to share with you. I'm gonna start off with a large flat rate D stash box. There's no way I can show you everything in here, but this is just a D stash from my craft room. I'm sorry, I'm really close to the camera, but there's books, papers, stamps, fabric. It's just things I've been throwing in here to kind of clear out of my craft room if I'm not using it anymore. There's vintage science books. I have used some of the pages, but you have a lot in here. Um, there's different vintage. This one I've used most of the pages, but you have a great cover and there's a couple pages in here you can still use. This is um, leftover Christmas paper, but there's bright colors. Um, yeah, different, different papers, stickers, fabric, napkins. This is a little mini book cover. Um, book, these are more science book pages. There's stamps in here. There's even, this is a Stampin' Up set. Um, 
There's another, there's a Heidi Swap stamp. There's some really neat paper in here, like uh, packing paper that you can use for pages. Stickers, there's more stamp sets in here. Here's a travel set from Stampin' Up. There's some blank Christmas cards. There's, oh gosh, I don't even know. There's some different fabrics and books. It's just packed full of stuff you can use if you just want like a random bunch of stuff to use that I'm just clearing out. So this will be available in Lin under Lindsay's Supplies and you can pick that up if you want that sent to you. It's just random. Okay. <laughs> so we have a new type of bag in our shop. Um, Joanne stocks the damask bags and the newsprint bags. And I've had other bags before. I think I'm sold out of everything. So I'm stocking leopard print bags. I have a ton of these available. I think these would be so much fun. Not only did I just do a leopard paper pack, and if I had thought about it, I would have printed it out to show it, but I didn't think about it. Um, I created that for Linda Reyes. She's doing a wild theme journal. And I have a cute little leopard really pretty jungle flowers and leopards. So you could use this in African journals and eclectic journals and uh, nature journals. There's so many things you could use these in, but you get sets of 10 of those. And I have a bunch of those available in Lindsay Supplies. Then I've restocked my alphabet stamps, but this time I went capital letters um, just to try that out. So you get the entire alphabet and they snap together to form words and then you can stamp them. So you could spell nature or um, collect or journal or whatever you wanted to and they snap together. I have um, the lowercase set and I've sold many of those, but I thought I would try the capital set. See what you guys think about that. There are 10 available in my supply section. This is also in my supply section, not the the bag is just to hold it, but these are Fussy Cut Roses from a 1980s book. I'm, I'm not sure how many there are. I will count them and put it in the description box, but I fussy cut all of these out. They're all different colors. They're so beautiful for journals. Um, I was watching YouTube and just cutting to my heart's content. I hope to make some more of these because that the book I have has a lot, but I thought I would just do one pack for now because I got sidetracked, of course. And this is a vintage science baggie of ephemera. So some of those science books down there, one of them I used to make these ephemera. So I have a bag and then I put this um, image on the front. These are great for any kind of journal, just to add that. These are from like 1970, just to add that extra bit of difference. There's a ton in here. Um, there's like little parts um, of, what am I trying to say? <laughs> of the articles, like flightless birds, and then they're backed with wallpapers and different papers. So a lot of them you can write on the back. I've done stitching, like here's a map of Europe and rainfall. Here's eucalyptus. And then this is just wallpaper, but it's strips of wallpaper. So you have a really cool effect. Here's the flycatcher bird on a piece of wallpaper, the flicker bird. These are fibers. And there's like one little strip here on the end. Here's the flounder fish. Again, different um, raggedy pieces of wallpaper to give a really cool effect. Try making this a pocket in a journal or even the uh, cover image. Um, I'm gonna have some wallpaper packs here and you can see how you could make that the cover image of a journal. Um, here's like the grosbeak bird, fins, figs, uh, feathers. And here I have a vintage writing paper, um, ribbon, paper ribbon. And then I've added that here for writing as well. So you get all different sizes, the fir tree, the um, crystals, fennel. I tried to just find Fahrenheit fauna, some different like entries for really cool words, some just um, formulas, then the vintage writing paper. Here's falcons, Jean Fabre, emeralds, chemical and electrical energy. But I tried to find things that were really English system, metric system, 
that would be really useful in journals. And I had so much fun putting all these together. So you get a huge amount, these in a bag, to keep them in. So I have that. Then I have some wallpaper. I have Rich Nature. There's six of them, 10 by 16, so they're folded in half. There's this one. This has a bird on it. This one I think has a bird as well. Just different like landscape nature type themes. Some of them have people on them too, but Rich Nature, Parrot Paradise. This is really deluxe type wallpaper, but some of them have parrots on them. And then there's some background type ones. And then this set is called Easter Morning. There's nine of them. Look at the gorgeousness of these florals, purple roses, purple texture, purple flowers and stripes. And then this one, and then you get all of them. If you want a smaller set, these are 11 by, not 11 by 17, I mixed these up. 4 by 17 and 11 by 17. That way, if you're going to be covering journals, you might want the big set. If you're just going to be making tags and pockets, you might want this smaller set. And this is called Pink Passion, very similar to Easter Morning, but it has pinks, and there's only six of them. But look at how pretty those are. And then again, you can get the, I said 5 by 15, I bet you that's 4 by 15. Yeah, four by 15. Oh, yesterday was a busy day for me. I did this after my busy day. So this is called On Golden Shores. I have two of them, uh, seven by 17. It was a gigantic book of wallpaper. So it's still made, these are folded in half, that still made great pieces. So I called this on Golden Shores. Look at how pretty. So two sets of that. And this one is called Siren Song. I love the colors. Um, you have those little touches of teal. So pretty. I have two sets of Siren Song. And then I have D-Stash lot of prints. When I do these, you guys love them. And I think my camera is all crooked because I bumped it. Sorry about that. Look at this. It's a ton. So when I do my D-Stash lock, they're misprints. They may be misprints because I've this printed in black and white. The colors aren't quite right. They're, they're usable. They're definitely usable in some way or another. Um, sometimes they're, they're more messed up than others. Sometimes they're perfect. Like this is a perfect print, but it had a white border around it. And I didn't want, I wanted borderless, but you know, you can use that. So we have lots of perfect prints in here. Perfect prints, just this is on a paper, a thinner paper. And I wanted it on cardstock but the print's perfect. Um, these are leftovers from my Halloween. I'm not using them right now. There's so many different ones in here. These are perfect prints, just not on cardstock. Um, anyway, so they're just leftovers. Some of them have something cut out that I used. It's just a whole gigantic, like this printed the wrong size, gigantic lot of misprinted, or these actually are not misprinted. Oh yeah, they are. They have thin lines through the photos, but they're, this is all perfect. So gigantic lot of papers to craft with. These are all my digitals or they're public domain, or there's a couple of Joann's. So you can use any of them commercially in a journal that you make. And the last thing to share with you today is a summer journal that I created um, I I've shown some images of this over on my Instagram. If you don't follow me over there at Nevermore Creation 17, I try to post some pictures of when I'm working on a journal. A few videos ago, I did a summer journal that was so much fun to do, and I decided to do another one since I had leftovers of the cut aparts. I was using a simple stories paper kit that I got on Tuesday morning. I had a lot of stickers and things. I still have quite a few things left over, so I'm probably going to wind up doing another summer journal at some point, but this has a very different feel and I used different images for the pages, but it's still very summery. So it's called Paradise Found 
and I've created it from a double layered cereal box. So it is very sturdy, very thick. Three signatures. There's a, I think 124 pages. I've used a boho fabric on the spine. And this is what I mean about the glue seeping through a little bit. This fabric is so thin. I think this is still fine though, but I, I was mentioning that when I did a tutorial recently. So I thought I'd show you. So we have three signatures sewn in here. There's like the little sequins and the stitching. This boho fabric is beautiful. And then we have this polka dot back in front. This is a sari silk closure. The cover image is multiple layers. There's a coffee dyed index card, a piece of scrapbook paper, the cut apart, there's stitching, there's a fabric ribbon, a lace ribbon, and a button. So how pretty is that? It's stitched all around, inked with Distress Oxide. Look at the inside cover. I love this fabric. And then more polka dots. We have lace. These images are from my Vintage Image Club. You can click the link below to learn more about that. We have a little guest check in there, some hummingbirds. These papers I got off of creativefabrica.com and I love getting stuff off of them. This first signature, while it is very tight in there, slightly angled, so that bothered me a little bit, but there's never perfection. Anyway, so I just went through my papers. I have some from Strokes of Nature. I have some things from Creative Fabrica, just so many different. Um, this is from my Blooming African Violets. This is from Sand and Sea. Very summery, beachy feel. This is from TLC Creates Vintage. I've even used cute, the cute little die cuts. This is from Sunny Days. This is not currently available unless you have my Ultimate Lifetime collection. Done little ribbons. This I believe is also TLC Creates Vintage. Some Flamingo Washi Tape. There's like tags and flashcards. We have some vintage uh, book pages. Chase the Sunset. That's from Sand and Sea. This is Joanne's Dancing Dahlias. Love this paper pack. Done a little cluster with a lemon. Here's a tuck spot that you can use to put in photos or something like that. Stamping sentiments all throughout. There's a little fairy postcard. Joanne sent me these. They're so cute. It says summer sun. Lemonade stand. Summer lovin'. This is from Kelly Watson. Um, love her stuff. I've actually just started doing some design team work for her. I purchased this kit last year, but I'm going to be making a journal with some of her newer stuff, so I'm excited about that. Summertime fun, summer adventures, sunflower. Just a little flip out. I got this in Happy Mail and I thought that was a fun use of it. Soaking up the sun. Just a little snippet here. This was the front of a greeting card. And I added sunny. Little vintage book pages on a tag some cut aparts, the ocean calls to me. I love this wide flamingo tape. This is Joanne's Pretty Florals. Here's a little bag you can put things in and then there's a tag and some tickets. It says hot, 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 seashells by the seashore. I've done some stenciling. I love these stencils. And I do have some kits on sale in my supply section that have some of these stencils in it. It's the Liquid spar Sparkles kits. They are very much discounted, so you can check those out right now. We've put other things on sale, so when you're shopping, you will be able to get some good deals. This is from Joanne's, I think this is Botanical Birds. It's one of her new kits. I love the little rainforest tree frogs like a big ticket, little unicorn floaty cut apart, flamingos, some stationery, and this is a piece of paper. I love that turtle. It's actually like a cardstock, so you could use that somewhere or just use it as a journal card. 
little lemonade. Surf's Up. This is from Sand and Sea as well. Live in the sunshine, swim in the sea, drink the wild air. Emerson. That's a quote from Emerson. Little clusters. This is an antique papery ATC card. There's a little wallpaper pocket with some heart notes. This is antique papery lush forest. Done some more stenciling. A vintage book page, merry-go-round, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. That's a cut apart. And then I got this in Happy Mail. I love these little notebooks. So I knew I had to use that in here. And I think I clipped too many pages together. I think I do that in every big journal I make. It's hilarious. Some of that boho fabric. This is Victoria uh, Designs. This is the Life Notes pack. Love those papers. Vintage floral book pages. This is a playing card. I think it's a canasta card or something like that. Got it at a thrift store. This is TLC Creates Vintage. This is Creative Fabrica. It's a background page. Sun Kiss. This is from Sunny Days. There's a little snow cone cluster there. Joanne made this. I turned it into a tuck spot. There's a butterfly negative punch out. Some little cut aparts I turned into a bookmark. A little gardening card. And then there's a little yellow tag, a piece of cardstock, and this is from Digital Collage Club. I have coupons below for all of her stuff, but there's a little Peter Rabbit. Little paper ribbon, that's from Victoria Designs. Every seashell has a story. This is from my sand and sea. Dream a little dream. There's some uh, die cuts you can use. This is a sheet of washi stickers. There's a coffee dyed index card and a little kite on the back and I've signed it down there. So I hope you enjoyed this. Oh my goodness, I loved making it so much. I think it's just so fun for summertime. 124 pages, three signatures. That is a wrap, my friends. That's what we have today. But I ask that while you're browsing around, maybe choose one sec other section. If you're buying this under Lindsay's Handmade, maybe you click over to Joanne's Handmade too. See if there's something on sale you'd like to add to your order. Or if you're over in supplies grabbing some wallpaper, maybe hit up the marketplace section. There's several journals on sale there from our February challenge. And uh, next week, we're jumping right into the week with a big marketplace video that you're going to love. And I will see all of you in the next video. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your support. Please give this video a thumbs up. If there was something in it that you enjoyed, leave me a comment down below if you have anything you'd like to mention or say or tips or tricks. I've gotten some of the best tips and tricks from you guys. So thank you so much for that. And subscribe if you have not. Have a lovely day.